All right, so here's my Raspberry Pi SID player. On the left, you can see the Raspberry Pi, and I've got his GPIO connected through these blue wires to the breadboard. Uh, those blue wires feed in directly to these two shift registers, and I use them to feed the address and data lines to the SID. I use shift registers in order to reduce the number of GPIO pins required by the Pi, and in total for the shift registers, it requires six pins. On the bottom, I've got a little LM386-based audio amplifier, and that's basically so you guys can hear the sound uh, coming through on this video. On the top right, I've got a Sane Smart 20x4 LCD. Picked it up for real cheap online, and it works via the I2C bus on the top left here of the GPIO header. Works really easily. It was nice and cheap, so I would recommend it. In the bottom right, you can see those are actually eight double A's. Uh, those are rechargeables, and it, the SID doesn't seem to be too picky about its 12-volt line being exactly at 12 volts. So uh, it happens to work just fine with the rechargeables, in my experience. Uh, I wrote a short Python script to feed the data over GPIO to the SID, and I'm going to go ahead and launch it now. So enjoy. So there you have it. There's my uh, Raspberry Pi synth player. Sounds really good. Works well. Thanks for watching.